What's up YouTube, Ronis with yet another one and in this tutorial I want to show you guys how to create your LUTs for skin tone color grading in Photoshop. So LUTs basically means color lookup tables. So it is L-U-T-S. So I know you guys, some of you guys call it a Photoshop action for color grading. So basically that is what you're going to be learning in this first tutorial. So LUTs are very important because they enable us to uh, color grade faster in Photoshop and have some kind of uniformity in almost all the images will be retouching or color grading in just Photoshop. So let's let's kick in and we start learning about that amazing process. So when you're creating LUTs, always make sure that you first of all working from your background. There. Make sure you don't duplicate the background there because your LUT is not going to be created well or saved well. So make sure you for whichever image you're creating your LUTs on, always make sure you're selected on your background layer so we are going to be doing adjustments and one thing you have to know is when you're doing these adjustments always make sure you, you do them to the extreme because when you're applying the light to the images it is going to be reduced under the opacity so let me let's start doing that so that you can uh, learn about that so you're going to first of all do random adjustments to this image so i'm going to come to black and white just like that and i'm going to close this then i'm going to come to the blending mode and i'm going to change it first of all uh, to multiply but since this is too much i'm just going to slightly uh, turn down the opacity of the overall multiply effect to this image then i'm going to come right back to um and make a second black and white adjustment layer i'm going to change the blending mode this time around i'm going to change it to overlay just like that and i'm going to also reduce on the opacity of that overlay i think uh, that is fine so i'm just doing everything to the extreme because i want you guys to understand how these lights do and how they affect the image i'm going to make uh finally the last black and white and i'm going to come back to multiply so you have depending on what you usually do when you're color grading so after doing that i'm going to come to the opacity and reduce it just at around 13 then i'm going to play around with these sliders to see because i want to add some kind of glow to the highlights that's why i'm moving up the yellows and i can as well move up the reds and let's see the before and after for that so when we are done doing so uh we are going to come right to our selective color and you're going to do some little bit more of the adjustments so we can come to the blacks first of all and so you drop down and come to the blacks and you're going to just add some kind of uh, bluish feel to the image just like that to around negative four then you can add some kind of blacks to around one then come under the reds and if at all you feel like your image has so much reds or magentas you can come and uh, drop down or reduce on the magentas in the image and you can as well reduce uh, the amount of yellows if at all uh, you wish to i think that is fine then you can come to the yellows and also reduce on the amount of yellows from the image just to around negative four so let's see the before and after for that so i think it is nice so we are going to come right now to our we're going to come to um failing to get it okay color balance right that so we're coming to the color balance so under here you can play with the midtones uh, the highlights and the shadows are uh, in the image so right now we want to add some kind of uh, greens to our highlights so i'm going to come to the highlights and i'm going to uh, come and add some kind of greens to the highlights i think to around let's go to around five or oh, i think that is fine so let's uh, also add some kind of blues to the highlights to around two then you can come to the shadows and since we want some kind of melanin kind of look we are going to add some kind of blues uh, to the shadows just slightly to around one and also 
add some science to the shadows to around negative one so let's see the before and after for that i hope you're seeing how the image is getting uh, transformed so like i said when you're creating your lights for color grading always make sure that you do everything to the extreme because you can always do adjustments uh, on the image uh, later on or after applying the light so uh, one last thing we have to do let's add some kind of brightness to this image just to around seven let's go with around 10 so before after so the image now looks brighter than it was so one last thing let's add some kind of contrast to the image so we're going to I prefer to activate use legacy because it adds some kind of beautiful tones to the image so I'm going to go with around two for that so like these are the adjustments we want to be embedded in our lat or color lookup table so this is more of uh, our color grading preset so these are like the ingredients in the uh, preset or in our photoshop lat for skin tone color grading so let's see the before and after so far before you can learn how to save this lat in photoshop so if i hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and click on the visibility of this icon you can see the before and after for this very lot so these are the settings we have so like i said when you want to save these settings uh, for your lot always make sure that your all these are not put in a group and only do or apply your adjustments only in the photoshop filter filter rather don't apply or do adjustments outside photoshop if i told you are creating your lights for color grading or color grading your images or the skin tones so after you you feel like you're comfortable with everything you are now going to learn about how to export uh, the light in uh, photoshop so first of all we're going to come to file then we're going to come to export and under export you're going to come to uh, color lookup tables so right here you can this uh maybe under the description i'm going to move this towards the side i hope you can see this under the description you can name uh your light the way you want so maybe for this light i'm going to name it maybe a uh, melanin just like that and now you can even add some copyright information to your light then after doing so always make sure that you select cube because this is going to load faster into your photoshop uh, software or your photoshop application so always make sure that you uh, select cube and when you're done swing, doing so hit ok so when you press ok it is going to show you uh, the name of your lat so remember we want to rename our lat melanin so we're going to name that melanin and now you have to choose uh, where your LUT should be saved. And for this case, I'm just going to select my desktop for easy finding of the LUT in general. So I'm going to simply hit save and it's going to take a few seconds and the LUT is going to be uh, saved. So let me first of all group all this because I'm done saving the LUT. I'm going to select this and hit Ctrl Command G. So I'm going to turn this off and we see at all the LUT we have saved has uh, been saved or if at all it can work well with this image if at all we had already made or created our own lights i'm going to simply come right down here and i'm going to come to color lookup and after that i'm going to come and select load 3d light and look for uh, where the light has been saved that is the desktop for this case i'm going to select it and hit open and you can see that uh, the light has already ap applied the effects so you can see the before and after before after and now there is no difference between this and this i hope you can see that so remember when i was starting this story i told you guys in order to save your light or you when you're creating your light when you're creating the light you always do everything to the extreme so that you can change uh, the opacity of the light when you apply it on your different images so i feel like this is too much i'm going to simply come to the opacity and i'm going to knock down or reduce the opacity of this light i think to around 
55 so you can see the before after before after so this is how to create your lights uh, for color grading in photoshop and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another and don't forget to create lights to speed up your color grading process and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating